Hey you guys, this is Nathan back with another video today sharing with you how I make my YouTube thumbnails and not just the basic uh, type of thumbnail like I made a video on uh, just yesterday, but instead uh, one that shows more of the advanced process of making a thumbnail. Um, this can be used whether for a banner for a website, for a YouTube thumbnail of course, but also for like a blog post or Instagram post, things like that. We're adding elements in and you're doing some graphic design, but using a software that um, is able to kind of handle all that stuff and not give you just this cheap, um, simple, cookie cutter um, uh, final project. So instead of using Canva or some of these other softwares or like Photoshop, which is kind of like the ultimate goal, uh, Photoshop is an awesome software, but for someone who wants to get into it and do it completely free, I would recommend Photoscape X. It's a free photo editing software. I've made a bunch of videos on how uh, this software works. I'm going to be sharing uh, videos in the future to learn every uh, kind of step by step of how I made or got some of these images for the photo that we're going to be making today, the thumbnail we're going to be making today, which is the thumbnail that you clicked on to come to this video. So I actually don't have it made just yet because we're going to make it right now. So to begin, you have to begin by thinking of, okay, I have uh, some kind of background. I'm going to have some text maybe. I'm going to have a subject. I might have some whether it's an emoji or some kind of objects in there to help catch the eye of the individual. So let's see some of these other ones that I've made in the past, whether it is free photo backup 2020 or the best free photo editing software 2020 or my wedding live stream. You know, you're using uh, some different photos or different artwork or different text to help make it look more appealing. So how do I make my thumbnails? Well, let's begin. First, I'm going to hit new. Uh, I'm going to be, you know, opening up Photoscape X. I'm going to go to the editor tab. I'm going to hit new, and I'm going to type in here width and height. You know, seven. Uh, it's going to be 1280 by 720, and I'm just going to put white for the background. You can put it whatever you want. And then what you have is the exact, you know, size and ratio for a YouTube thumbnail. Now this. Uh, this is really neat because you have these lines, these uh, teal lines going, you know, back and forth, up and down, and it shows that this inside box is that uh, kind of area that you have to work with. But you can put things outside of the box or partially outside of the box. And when you finally, you know, hit save and go to save as, and you save it, you are then able to just get what is inside that white box. So let's begin. We're gonna first by inserting. Uh, your background. I have a background that I've used for a long time, absolutely love it, and I kind of use it too much, but I really enjoy it. So, uh, and I'll put a link to it in my blog post on my website. Uh, so, I'll put a link to that down below. But basically, uh, you go and you size it up so it's either with the teal lines or however you want to have it cropped in or zoomed in more. Uh, but it works out pretty well for me, anyways. Uh, and you get this all. Uh, put in and then you're thinking okay what else am I adding maybe you're adding an image this is an image of myself just a picture of myself that I ended up going and using the cutout tool in Photoscape X which I've made or will be making a video to in the near future about how to use the cutout tool and how to cut out and make uh, the background of an image you know gone fully transparent so then you're able to just you know put your face in there and you don't have to have you know like for me I don't have to have my entire jacket in this photo I can have it's a bit lower things like that next you might want to add in some other graphics like in this case I have a YouTube play button um, and what's awesome is you're able to over here on the image tab you're able to transform it you know drop shadow or gradient and there's some really cool things you can do with it just mess around with it but for this time I'm gonna use this drop shadow I'm gonna make the distance pretty large and I'm gonna you know make the angle of it on the side um, and kind of make it look like you know kind of like that YouTube play button that has a little bit more depth to it a little bit more of a 3d effect to it instead of just a flat thing laying there so I have that as well so those are two different elements and I can also do that adding a drop shadow to uh, to myself uh, this cutout but you're also able to add in different texts. There's a lot of different texts, which is really good. 
Uh, I found this one. It's called like Poppin Extra Bold. I'll leave a link to that also. Uh, but it's something that I found from another YouTuber and it works out really great for me. So let's say we're going to put in the text that we're going to have and it's going to be, let's see, probably YouTube thumbnails, uh, like uh, how to make, let's see, let's see, how to uh, make. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit duplicate. It's going to make it some for my next line. How to make YouTube. And I might actually just duplicate it down here. I'm going to go to thumbnails. And you know what, you guys? Uh, one of those random things, like if you ever like have a second thought about the spelling of something, just because you're like, hey, I could be an idiot today and misspell something. It's like, hey, don't worry about it. Just go look it up. And you'll find it. All right, so how to make YouTube thumbnails. Um, and then what we could do is we could write something like, like a pro. Like a pro. And then we're going to do another one. And it's going to say 2020. So we get all those, you know, cool, catchy. Uh, taglines in there. All right, so we got all this cool stuff. So this is going to be a lot of text on one side. So how about this? We're going to increase the size of this. So we're, we're going to put me kind of just in the corner here. Whoopsie. Making sure not to move things off too far. Making sure to select me, put me in the corner, make sure to be looking for those teal lines. Um, next, we're going to do so how to um, how to make YouTube So it's like how to make YouTube thumbnails. And we can, of course, change the thickness and all this different stuff. But yeah, it's how to make thumbnails like a pro 2020, you know. And then we could put uh, this YouTube play button. And I could actually change it so the drop shadow is now the other direction. I thought it was going to be one direction. Now it's going to be this one. So that's fine. Um, and then what I can also do is I was going to add in uh, the app that I'm using, which is, you know, of course, Photoscape X and kind of also have that in there as well. So uh, let's see my, I don't think my head's too big just yet. I could add a drop shadow on myself. It would be interesting. The drop shadow color can be a different color, which is kind of neat. So I could go and I could select a color from over here, and it could be a blue, or it could be you know any color that I want. It could be a red that could kind of match with is this YouTube. I don't know. I don't think so. Um, I could just pick a gray or something. It's just so hard. I think I'm just gonna leave it blank. So that's kind of me just you know beating around the bush there. Um, next, I'm going to make sure that all this text is about the same size, same width. So I also don't want it to be the thickness of this to be too big. So what did I pick? I did 20. Is 20 too big, 20 too small? Leave a comment down below. Tell me, you guys, what could I be doing wrong? You know, it's always good to get some good feedback on what your thoughts are and to hear from you guys it's always fun all right so 25 did it say 25 all right 25 how to make uh that's gonna be 25 right there wow that's pretty big Okay, but how am I going to make this look, you know, somewhat natural? Depends on where I put this first one, I think. Uh, this is not looking, you know, super hot. Of Like, how do you design it? How do you put it all in? 
you know what looks good what looks clickable um, I did think for a moment of doing some kind of like an interesting twist or something uh, to this we could write justify everything that'd be interesting I could say like this so it goes how to make and then it goes YouTube thumbnails so it's like um, each you know part of it each phrase well, let's see and you know what I can do I can make YouTube red like this oh whoops not that way control Z control Z save me okay uh, going in here how to make YouTube and we could make both of them red that would make it stand out for sure how to make YouTube thumbnails like a pro alright and we'll minus all these to 20 so we're gonna keep you know the same size of text all the way through and we're gonna uh, capital A, not a capital A. I could do pro guide. You know, for some reason, people like the term guide, and I don't know why. Um, they seem to like that. Pro guide twenty twenty. All right, well, what about this? What if, okay, let me just move these things. I want this YouTube thing to line up with this one. And I want this one to line up with this thing. Uh, come on, guys, where's the middle? There's the middle. It's kind of far to the side. How about this? We'll do it like this. How to make YouTube bring to the front. All right, how to make YouTube thumbnails pro guide pro guide 2020 I'll decrease the thickness so it doesn't look you know super crazy YouTube Dale Nails Pro Guide 2020. How does that look to some of the other ones that I've made? Hmm. Looks pretty good. It just ends up being, you know, a lot of text. So, you know, YouTube Thumbnails Pro Guide. Because you could take out the how to make. You do YouTube Thumbnails Pro Guide uh, 2020. Or you could do YouTube Thumbnails 2020. I don't know. Uh, nonetheless, uh, honestly, I think that a lot of times people can spend, you know, forever working on this and making sure that you're uh, just, you know, just perfect. When honestly, this will pass, this will fly. And remember, when I'm hitting, you know, this save as, saving to desktop, you can go in and say, hey, um, there is your finished product. And remember, it's just that cutout that you had before and it looks really good it looks really good blown up it looks really good small the text should be you know good and readable and it's just a matter of like hey do I want it to add more text less text do I want my face in it do I not want my face in it um, and all those different things so you know the cool thing is then you're able to go back and make little changes and edits and different things and what's awesome is that you're also able to save this as a save project which means you're able to save this so let's just say we're just gonna go YouTube thumbnail hit save over to desktop and you're able to go in here and you end up with this saved file so even though you could have finished this and you know you're done but you remember oh wait there's a typo or there's a change or there's an edit or there's something I want to do differently you can always click into here you can pull it right back up because it's a saved project. It saves every element that you added in. All these, um, you know, all these different elements, whether it is 
the YouTube uh, play button, whether it's my face, whether it's the text or anything. It's all still completely editable, totally movable. You can do whatever you want. And it's awesome because that is the freedom that you get by having a saved project instead of, you know, just editing something, you know, maybe it's on your phone or maybe it's something that you're just doing in a random kind of an editor that doesn't have this feature. A free photo editing software should always have a save project option just because it's such a powerful tool. And you guys, I hope that uh, that's something that you can hold on to because it's something that I've forgotten many times and I wish I could go back and change a project super, change an image super easily, but I've left that. Um, one thing I could do is I could go and I could make all this stuff bold. Ooh, do I want to make it all bold? Mm, extra bold. Mm. Well, you guys, I'm going to have to, you know, mess around with that, with my fonts and things like that. But if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know what your thoughts are. But this has been, you know, how to make a YouTube thumbnail, you know, the pro guide for 2020. So, you guys, see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.